All right, hi everybody. This is the Math 20-1 Trigonometry Review. This is question 25. What we're going to do here is, I'm going to do all of these in just one question here because these are very, very quick, okay? So basically there's two, every time I do this, there's two questions that I got to ask for each of these, okay? And just watch what we do here. Cosine of 30 degrees is going to uh, be, first of all, 30 degrees is in the first quadrant, okay? So we know this is going to be positive. And then the cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2, done. Next question, sine of 90 degrees, okay? Now this is a quadrantal angle. That's an angle that shows up on the axes. And so it's gonna have a special value. And in this case here, uh, when, you, when you think about this being uh, y over, let's say one, at 90 degrees, y would be equal to one as well on the unit circle, so this is gonna end up being one. Now, here's an interesting question. Sine of 135, well, 135 is in quadrant two. Sine is positive in, in quadrant two, so it's going to be the positive sine of, and the reference angle here is 45 degrees. And so the sine of 45 degrees is root two over two. So the answer is the sine of 135 will be root two, positive root two over two. 45. Uh, 45 degrees is in the first quadrant. The tangent of 45 degrees is equal to the y coordinate over the x coordinate. Uh, if you're thinking about it in terms of the unit circle, if you're using special triangles, again, this is even, even more clear, the answer is just 1. Cosine of 150. Well, 150 is in the second quadrant, so cosine is negative in the second quadrant. The reference angle here is going to be 30 degrees, and we've already established from the very first question here that the cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2, so this is going to be negative root 3 over 2. Tangent of 120. 120 is in quadrant 2. Uh, tangent is negative in quadrant 2. And the reference angle for 120 is 60 degrees. Okay, it's because it's in quadrant 2, I would go 180 minus 120 and I get 60. Okay. Uh, I can use the reference, so I can use the unit circle or I can use special triangles to get the tangent of 60. It's going to be negative and it'll end up being root 3. So negative root 3. 300. Okay, sine of 300. 300 is in quadrant 4. Sine is negative in quadrant 4. And to get the reference angle, I'll do 100, sorry, 360 minus this angle, 300. And the answer is 60 degrees. And if I go back to my unit circle or to my special triangles, I know that the sine of 60 degrees is going to be root 3 over 2. So then the answer is negative root 3 over 2. Cosine of 300. Well, cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant, okay? So this will be the co positive cosine of, and just as it was with the previous question here, okay, the reference angle is 60, and the cosine of 60, whether you use the unit circle or special triangles, is equal to 1 half. Tangent of 330. 330 is in the fourth quadrant, and we know that tangent is negative in the fourth quadrant. The reference angle will be 360 minus 330, because we're working in the fourth quadrant, so I go 360 minus that angle. It's going to be 30 degrees. And because it's 30 degrees, I think about either my, my unit circle or my special triangles, the tangent of 30 degrees is going to end up being root 3 over 3, or 1 over root 3, if you want to do it that way. Okay, cosine of 270. 270 is a quadrantal angle, okay? It is on the axis, the y-axis here. Now cosine is equal to x over r, but for this particular value here, uh, the angle I should say, the value of x is zero. So zero over r makes that equal to zero. Tangent of 180. Well 180, again, is a quadrantal angle. That puts us right there, okay? That's this angle right here. Tangent is equal to the uh, y coordinate over the x coordinate. Well, now in this case here, the y coordinate is going to be zero, okay? Because it's on that angle, ends up on the x axis. So if that's true, this will be zero over the value of x, and it doesn't really matter how big that circle is, zero divided by that x value is going to be zero. Tangent of 270. 270 is also a quadrantal angle. It's down there. 
but tangent, remember, tangent is equal to y over x. Now, I'm not necessarily sure how big that circle could be. It could be a unit circle. If that's the case here, then what happens is, is that the y coordinate of this would be negative 1. But more importantly, because I'm on the y axis, the x coordinate is 0, which means the tangent of 270 degrees would be undefined.